What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Keith. You know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know why y'all here. DPR, live, kiss me, neon. Special Patreon request from Caroline. Caroline, roses really smell like... If it's your first time on the channel, please hit that subscribe button and become a real redeemer today for more content like this. Jump on the Patreon. We are big fans of DPR. We are. Yeah, they've been killing everything so far. Um, but yeah, no long talk. Let me make sure everything is a go. Is this what Jones on here? Subtitle? Probably not. It's okay. New tech. We can pull up the. We can pull up the. You know. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't remember exactly when the dream started. I'm gonna assume this is all in the same album. It would always be the same. You know how the last one ended? Spoken word. Some fucking instant sticks on, like some candles. Damn. I told her, I told her, take that fucking makeup off right now. I'm trying to love my girl and then he follows artificial lies. Oh. oh. Well, Y'all notice up my eye. Now we, now we turn the fuck up, Redeemer. Like, <laughs> you know I mean? Still got the shower. Shit, I'm drunk.
shit. Okay, so this was first. This said 30 minutes Look before uh, impact. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, that's Shorty from uh, Dungeons and Dragons. It is. Mia. Mia. <laughs> that shit was. That shit was such a, uh, a great contrast. Mm-hmm. Um, to the other one? To, yeah, like to each other. Like it was almost total opposite, but somehow it slid. Like, it kind of just converted right on over to the other track. Um, yeah, he's decent, man. I know, um, what do they say? Comparison is the thief of joy or some shit like that. Um, but he, he reminds me of, like, quite a few artists and shit. Like, all they, like, they best attributes. Um, ironically, it's another boy, uh, like, uh, what's his name? Dan Eeyore. Mm. Um, like him. Little A-Boogie, like, in there. Just because on well, some of his tracks that we've been listening to that got kind of a little bounce to it, he kind of got like a, a like a sing a sing rap groove. Like even that, like, you know, I don't, it's going to sound crazy. It's like too many niggas might not have been able to get on like that. Not me, huh? uh-uh. and Like he kind of got like another little, everybody don't got that second snap today. <laughs> All his products aren't used with kimchi. He got a little adobe that he pour like on his stuff sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't be surprised like if his cornbread with his fried chicken got a little bit more bounce. Some collard greens maybe. He might. Ham hocks from the collard. Yeah. Kimchi on collard greens actually is fucking fire. Um, Try it if you can. Um, Joking though, y'all. But um, like he just has like a, a good blend and a good bounce to him. And it feels like he handles neon neon soul and uh some of the hip hop elements incorporated in his production very well. Mm-hmm. He has a certain vibe and an energy to him and it's kinda like it's groovy. But it's funny how like all groovies aren't like created equal in my opinion. <laughs> like, nah, seriously, so like alright, let's have some fun here. So you'll be listening to this. Let me get into more where he gets into the lyrics. This is a different kind of groove. This is, you know, the candles lit. You just like, oh, okay, like, yeah. He has his LED lights on and shit. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> most replay part. Um, it's probably because that fucking transition. Because that transition got into that like. And this shit turned into like, hey, wait. Now this groove is a whole nother groove, Redeemers. This is a whole nother like. And I'ma shut the fuck up and let Keith talk. Nah, you was you <laughs> you like that? nah, nah, I just wanted to let them know my two different types of grooves. <laughs> I mean, you know. But uh, I completely agree. Uh, the song was songs. Was very well done. Definitely a vibe. Um, I don't know why more artists don't do more of this. Kind of give you oh, first half, hard. second half. Yeah, especially if you're trying to push your project or push your album. Maybe not your first single. You want that to be free and clear. But like your second single, maybe you do the lead and then do about maybe 70 of the lead and 30% of the B-side. Just to kind of give them a taste to show that you got a complete album. Um, no, but all in all, this is fire. The concept held all the way through. Um, it, this really is a, so, this is one of the situations where this could either be before or after, because I felt like in the beginning he was, you see him on the planet already, walking through the desert, and this could be like, uh, one of those movies that are shot backwards, um, where it, it ends and you already, like, okay, perfect example, Evil Dead Rise, we already know what happened to the yeah. girl by the Mom- time she goes Mom- into the garage. Memento. Yeah, Memento. You know what I mean? So, like, it's it's one of those situations. It's just a matter of how do we get there to that point. Um, no, but this was this was definitely a good song. Songs, plural. Um, 
in the video it was well shot. Him on top of the mountain was very clean shot. Like even the on locations in the the desert or the ravines or what what have you. You you might be on the song. Ooh. Because the album is called Is Anybody Out There? Mm -hmm. Kiss Me is track eight. Kiss Me Neon Legacy Mm. goes kind of like that in the album. So at least in the album, this was first and then it goes into Legacy. Um, I wonder what else, what other MVs uh, he has from here though. But my fault. Yeah. No, no, no. You, you chilling? You chilling? No, but um, this was just really a clean, clean song. <laughs> um, I love the aesthetic, like the the microphone moving through space and then dropping down, and it looks like a room. But when he steps out of it, it's actually the frame of a car. Um, which is fire as well. And then the LED switch, because it looked like it was one of those AI painted apps that you would use on your phone, and then it kind of switched to the LEDs like being super vibrant mm-hmm. um, and kind of giving like a lens flare effect throughout the, the the length of the screen, which is always dope. Um, and this was this was just well done. Very trippy, very vibey. This is like something that, um, I don't know if you guys remember channels like maybe VH1 Soul or MTV Jams. Um, you could put on that and this would be probably be something that would come on and just kind of keep the vibe of the atmosphere going. This is this is a good job. Nah, I agree, man. Um, I'm interested for more. Um, and want to check out some more of the live performances as well with, uh, with him and um, Ian, just to kind of see mm. that synergy like live and stuff. Because I can already, I can only imagine what type of time this would be on. Um, especially depending on the pairings of the songs, because stuff like this would even be interesting to kind of see in a live performance, just kind of play back to back. Um, but yeah, man, jump in the comments, tell us how y'all felt about this. It definitely is a banger, and definitely want to get into some more of this. Uh, we're going to holler at y'all, man. Peace. Y'all can rock out to this. <laughs> Neon's crazy. 